Hello people of the interwebs, my name is Nigel and today I'm bringing you Would You Rather Wednesday, a weekly series where you ask me would you rathers and I do my best to answer them and they are mostly, well, they're pretty much always disgusting. So that's about it. Now as always I ask you guys to leave me a few in the comment section below, but if you could please leave a few extra if you have any to ask I would be gratefully appreciative because I'm going away in like a week and a half time. And I'll be gone for three weeks, so I'm going to do the videos in advance and put them into schedule uploader. And I'll probably have more videos going up while I'm not here than went up while I was here. That makes no sense, but that's probably going to be the case. So yeah, look forward to that. But anyway, let's get into the questions, shall we? The first would you rather comes from PGX Era, and he says, Would you rather eat your dog whole like a steak or chew your lip off? Oh, I don't like this question. Well thinking about it I like my dog a lot so I'm gonna have to go with eating my lip off like it's simple two reasons why I like my dog so if I have to eat him, eat him whole like a steak he's not gonna be alive anymore not many dogs can go through that you know and secondly the reason why well I don't know about you guys but a dog is a big animal well my dog's small but most dogs are actually big even a terrier it's gonna be a long time eating them and I just pretty much couldn't do that so yeah like I'd be there for literally a whole day trying to eat him he's it's not a small animal really it's not it's not like a chicken like even a chicken you you'd find it tough to eat a whole chicken in a day I'd say I've never tried it to be honest but I've never I'd say it'd take you a while to eat a whole chicken you know the next would you rather comes in from multifanboy101 and he says would you rather stick your dick in Susan Boyle's ass then fuck her or lick a midget's asshole? Well see you know I have a fetish for Susan Boyle but like if I stick my dick in her arse does that mean we're going anal with this or do I take it out then and go just normal fucking her? See I'd prefer but why don't I do both? I'd do both over licking a midget's asshole because you don't specify the sex of a midget so yeah. It's in the Lad Bible. If you don't know what the Lad Bible is, go on Facebook and look look it up. But the quote goes, if any lad should have the chance to fuck Susan Boyle, he will and say she was great or something like that. So yeah, I'm going to live up to that. And I'm going to put it in her two holes, not just one. Oh, that sounds disgusting. Fuck. <laughs> okay, next one. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, lads. What's up with Susan Boyle? So Macker99 asks... Would you rather have sex with Susan Boyle or you can never kick me from the party? Okay, backstory. I play with this guy a lot and I always kick him from a party and I'm obviously having sex with Susan Boyle. Obviously, I, I can't not kick him from the party. He just has to be kicked, you know? You just... It's like... It's like breeding. Kicking him from the party is like breeding. It just has to be done or I will die. So I was saying I'm going to do anything that is necessary. Next one. The next would you rather comes from Mighty O and he says, Would you rather answer sex, etc. questions or personal or random normal things? That's a three way would you rather. It's would you rather this, this or this. And to be honest, I don't know. The sex questions, they're kind of, they're funniest. But then other ones can be funny, but I don't know. The sex ones, they're disgusting as well. So I'd put people off, I'd say like, no children should listen to this whatsoever. They're probably going to be scared. Well, no, not even children. Anyone who listens to me will be scared for life. God help anyone who ever learns to read minds. Because they read my mind and they're going to commit suicide the next day. Simple as. The next would you rather comes from Ozoic. And he says, would you rather be absolutely freezing naked in Antarctica or wear a snowsuit in the desert? Right. See, I don't know what's up with this question, because if it's a snowsuit, I could possibly take it off, but if I can't, I'm definitely not going to the desert, because I can't stick to heat. I can actually stick to cold, although in the Antarctica, I'm dead straight off. You can't survive. It goes to, like, minus 80, so my only hope of surviving, like, if I had food and water, would be in the desert, but if I had no food and water, I'm going to die in either place. But the only hope you have of surviving is in the desert with a snowsuit. And I hate the heat, and as I'm recording this now, it's like 28 degrees and 70 to 80% humidity or something like that. That does not go down well with me. Not so, not, no. 
heat with me does not it just does not go down well heat it's all right but the humidity man i can't can't stand it it's horrible like this is like even with 20 degrees it turn up to 40 when you have like 80 to 90 percent humidity it's just horrible really i feel sorry for people who live in like arizona or someplace in america like that that's just they get up to like 30 40 degrees celsius there with low humidity from what i hear Oh man, I, I wouldn't, i just move, I couldn't stick that there. Anyway, let's go on to the next one before I start talking about weather and turn into the weatherman. The next would you rather comes in from Mr. Duffman KFC and he says, Would you rather the lethal injection? That's always a popular choice among me. I love my suicide attempts out of these would you rathers. Or have the queen squirt into your mouth while spanking your arse whilst calling you Britney? <laughs> 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 okay i can't actually answer that straight i read this before i pissed myself but this one's just reading it like that i just can't keep a straight face oh god the queen one it would be an experience i'm not gonna lie i like my lethal injection like i like committing suicide but the queen one it's such an experience it's a lifetime experience that would never be replicated Probably gonna go with the queen one, you know? You gotta get them lifetime experiences in there, or else you'll die without having experience in anything, good or bad. Experience and that's not word, that's not, I can't even speak, I give up. Next question, quick. The next and probably the final would you rather from this episode comes from Mighty O and he says, would you rather be smart and good looking and nobody likes you or be stupid and have a super ugly girlfriend and get buried in the same coffin. Okay, I don't even know how to comprehend the last bit. Like, get buried in the same coffin? Is that when you die or is that like, just straight away you're being buried alive? Because if I'm being buried alive right now, I'm going with the first one. And, I don't know. I wouldn't like to be stupid. I couldn't be stupid. I'm actually, I consider myself intelligent in real life. I really do. And, yeah, that's kind of egotistical. But I... I really do. I'm in the smart classes at this stage, so that's what I consider myself. So I like being smart. And like, if I was smart and good looking, I could think of a plan for people who like me. I could figure it out somehow. I don't want to be stupid. That's I just don't want to be stupid. I couldn't. I couldn't live life like that. I really couldn't. Like, one of the things I enjoy in life is my memory. I don't know. I just have a really, really good memory. I can't explain it why. It's just like, you know the people who remember back far? Well, I remember like, way too much stuff from when I was two that I shouldn't. And I can remember stuff from when I was six months old and stuff like that. So, I have a really good memory, which I like. Which is sort of how I consider myself intelligent. That's how I consider my intelligence coming from. I can think, I can do problem solving. And I can remember most of the stuff. So, if I did anything bad in the past, I will remember straight away. So, yeah, I'd probably go with the first one. As stupid and dr and like discouraging as it is, I'd probably go for that one. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, could you please me leave me some would you rather's down below again? And sure, why not? Go for a like. I never ask for these jokes, but apparently I'm supposed to. I don't know why. I don't exactly know what to do. I like comments more, but apparently big YouTubers should say likes, and I'm not big. But anyway, let's pretend I am. Let's like this stuff. I don't even know what likes too. Anyway, see you next time, guys. Bye.